I chose the GNU Nicholas Mule Airboard. Uh, I've seen quite a few of you guys comment on this guy in the comments on some of the videos. So, uh, got a bunch of snow today. We're gonna take this guy out. First impressions, I definitely will say uh, this is the type of board where you don't have to stay leaned back on your back leg in the powder. Just keep your weight centered. That nose is gonna come up and you're gonna float uh, nice and easy over the powder, which has been a ton of fun out here today. It's also, it's a pretty stiff board, I'd say on the stiffer side of medium, uh, probably right around a six out of 10. So not crazy stiff, not quite as stiff as the Jones flagship, but uh, it's sturdy. You know, it's got the power to push through this powder even when it's a little bit heavier and more wet. There's some decent pop in the tail. It's a shorter tail, but you can load it up well and get some nice pop out of it. And then again, with that long nose, you can just land with your weight centered and you're gonna stay floating in that powder. You think you'll tomahawk on that? I think it's possible, but you'd have to be kind of careless. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely got a very directional shape to it. That seems to set back pretty far. Yeah. It helps a lot floating in powder, makes it really maneuverable in the trees. This is a good board for the free rider who's going out and just trying to carve and go fast, wants something really stable, but something that can also float really well in powder. All right, guys, it's been an incredible day out here at Mount Bachelor. The sun came out. I was able to enjoy some of the best powder I've ever ridden, ever. If you want to learn more about this snowboard, make sure to check the links down in the description. We got a link to a full detailed written review for you guys to check out. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun out here today. I'll see you next time.